Hello, students. Um, thank you for watching the next um, online class for Business One, Unit Two for Companies. Uh, this uh, online lecture will be available March 26 on Thursday. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is Unit Two, Companies. Uh, again, here is your answer sheet. Uh, please fill in your name in uh, English, your name in Korean, if you're Korean, your student ID number. Uh, again, this is Unit Two, Companies. Uh, so first what we're going to do is we're going to watch a clip. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff and this is my friend Mike and together we're known as the Interview Guys. Now today we're enjoying one of our favorite pastimes, enjoying a cup of coffee and talking about job interviews. Jeff, are you sure you didn't have one cup of coffee too many? You seem a little excited. I am excited, Mike, but not because of the coffee, because a lot of people have been asking us to share our best interview tips, so today we put together a list of our top five favorites. If you can master these five tips, you'll be well on your way to getting a job offer from your next interview. Tip number one is that you really need to research the company and the position carefully. It's important to know exactly what they do, who their competitors are, and any current events related to the company. Now take some time to study their website, but make sure you also know the job description inside and out. Our second tip is that you need to practice. In other words, it's important that you prepare perfect answers to some of the most commonly asked and toughest interview questions. How do you do that? We'll hang on to the end of the video and we'll show you exactly how. Tip number three is that you need to prepare a few success stories that you can reference during the interview. What is a success story? A success story is a story from your past, work or personal life that highlights an achievement and reflects one of your strengths. Now tip number four is a very important one. You always need to prepare some questions to ask the interviewer. Why? Because it shows that you're prepared, knowledgeable, and enthusiastic about the job. Not to mention the fact that it'll allow you to learn as much as possible about the company and the position you're interviewing for. So as we said earlier, our final tip is the most important tip on this list. Tip number five says that you need to tailor your entire interview to the company you are interviewing with. You see, most people walk into the interview room with nowhere near enough knowledge of exactly what the company or organization is looking for. You need to find out beforehand exactly what the position calls for in an employee, as well as exactly what makes up the company's perfect candidate. Once you have this information, you can position yourself as that perfect candidate by giving tailored interview answers. As we always say, it's not about you, it's about them. Now, if that sounds like a lot to take in, don't worry, because we've prepared a special report that explains tip number five completely and outlines exactly how to prepare perfect answers to every interview question. That's right. We walk you through our proven. Okay, so this interview, uh, these top five job interview tips uh, by this these two gentlemen, uh, you can play back the video again later. I know this was quite fast. So you need to answer what are the top five interview tips listed in the video? So here, your answer, your interview tip was number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Now, do you agree with these tips? So here, um, you may agree with some of the tips and some, maybe not all of the tips, or you may agree with all of the tips. You should say, yes, you do, and why, or which ones you agree with and which ones you don't agree with and why. Now, this next question is, do you have any other tips uh, for interviews? This would be your tips that you would like to give that you should that you think are important uh, to have a successful interview. Uh, what are your tips for giving a good interview? Now this is a general question, but here is for giving more specific um, answer about how to give a good interview. Question four, uh, have you been given a job interview before? So here if you have, then yes, then you would say, you know, oh, I I got a job uh, interview for working a part-time job for a coffee shop and it went like this, blah, blah, blah. Um, what are your tips for giving a good interview for the interview that you had maybe? Uh, you could say something more specific, like I had a job interview for such and such part-time job and um, it didn't go well because of these reasons or it went well, but I could have improved the interview by doing such and such. Um, so here, uh, uh, farther along here, have you been given a job interview before? If you have, how did it go? Talk about your experience. It could be something very simple, like I said, for maybe an internship or a part-time job or a summer job, et cetera. Um, and then let me, 
Uh, part C was, uh, if the interview did not go well, why didn't it go well? Part five, do you think having a job interview will be difficult? So here, if you did not answer yes to the question number four, you need to fill out this answer of why do you think it would be difficult to give a, an interview? Or you could even say, yes, I've had an interview in the, in the, in the past, but my first interview for my full-time job after graduating, you can talk about that. Why do you think that would be difficult? It could be something as simple as maybe they're going to have an interview in, in English um, as well as an interview in Korean. Or it could be the, the type of company you're applying for. Maybe it's more difficult to uh, get a job there, so the interview will be more difficult. Okay, let's move on. Slide number four. So yes, so here, uh, starting up part A, which of these companies do you or would you like to work for and why? A family owned company, a multinational company, your own company, so to be self-employed. Here, uh, many students have said, oh, I said, what's an example of a family owned business? And they said Samsung because all of the relatives are owners and managers, et cetera. Here, a family owned business would be something we call a mom and pop store or a small business such as like your mother and father own a restaurant or they own a small manufacturing uh, uh, company. The, you know, usually a family owned company is just a few employees. Most of them are family members. Um, a multinational company, of course, would be something like Samsung, GE, LG, et cetera. And your own company here, this would be to be an entrepreneur or it could even be something like being, I don't know, owning your own company like um, uh, a mechanic or an electrician, et cetera. They own their own company and they're the only employee. It's called a sole proprietorship. Uh, so go ahead and answer here. Uh, some of you may also think I'd like to get a job uh, at a company to begin with or a government organization, but maybe later you want to uh, do your own business. That's a good way to answer as well, such as, you know, I'd like to start off um, in my field uh, working for such and such type of company, but later maybe I'd like to do my own business. That's Remember, there's no right or wrong answers. Part B, uh, can you name a company in each of these business sectors? Is there one that you would like to work for? So for example, we have telecommunications and media, engineering, pharmaceuticals or chemicals, construction, banking and finance, transportation, manufacturing, IT or electronics, food and drink, uh, retailing and other service type industry, or tourism. So just below part B here, you can answer here. It's very simple. You can do like telecommunications, media, you could put SK Telecom or whatever. Um, and then the engineering, what type of company? Oh, GE is a good engineering company, whatever. Okay, now part A. Part A. Complete the chart on the next page with the information at the box below. Then write sentences about the companies. So here you see that American Express, um, uh, Cisco Systems is an American company which supplies internet equipment. So the next one, American Express, you would say American Express is a credit card company from the United States or whatever sentence that you'd like to do. And then um, container ship operator, fashion retail, Finnish, Finnish as in from Finland, uh, Japanese, Korean, Nokia, oil and gas, pharmaceuticals, and Toyota. So you need to create a sentence using each one of these inside this box here inside the answer sheet. It should be a full, a full sentence like this. Cisco Systems is an American company which supplies internet equipment. So it could be internet equipment was the example, then you made a full sentence. And here again, I put the, the words in the box from the same one here. Now, moving on. Um, here, you see the box here, Cisco Systems, Internet equipment supplier. That's why we had the this, the um, the example was Cisco Systems is an American company which supplies internet equipment. That's why here it says Cisco Systems, internet company supplier, American. Then you can use these um, phrases uh, and words to make the sample sentence. The so next one, blank, 
car manufacturer blank. You could say number two, BMW is a German car manu or is a car manufacturer from Germany. Okay. So do that for all of these um, I guess eight different examples. And then part B, complete the sentences below uh, with the words and phrases in the box. So you have head office, market share, net profit, parent company, share price, subsidiary, turnover, and workforce. Here, turnover is British English, which means gross sales. So number one, the example here, the amount of money a company receives from sales in a particular period is called its turnover. In American English, gross sales. So use the rest of these words and put them inside the different uh, blanks here. Now, part C, complete the extract from a company report with appropriate words or phrases from the boxes in exercise B. So here we have these words that are in exercise B that you did inside the, um, the exercise here. You're gonna use these same words here. You're going to put them inside. You're gonna use them to complete the extract from a company report um, with the appropriate words and phrases from the box in exercise B. So now we're uh, CD uh, track 17. We're gonna to listen to the CEO reading from the company report and you can check your answers to exercise C. I'm pleased to say the parent company has continued its excellent performance. We are changing, growing, and doing well at a difficult time for the industry. Turnover was 57.2 million euros, an increase of 15% on last year, and net profit rose by 5% to 6.4 million euros. We are a highly competitive business. We have increased our market share to 20%. Consequently, our share price has risen and is now at an all-time high of 9.6 euros. Increased production and strong demand have had a positive effect on our cash flow, so we are able to finance a number of new projects. We have successfully moved to our new head office in central London. We are now planning to start full production at the recently opened Spanish subsidiary in October. Finally, Thanks once again to our loyal and dedicated workforce. Our employees will always be our most valuable asset. Okay, now we're going to move on to part C. Part C. Um, sorry. Yes, yeah, so part C. Uh, listen again and complete the paragraph. So here uh, it's going to say a blank. I'll give you some basic give you some basic uh, information about DC fashions, et cetera. So let me go ahead and play that track for you. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to my presentation. My name's Robert Pullen. I'm the Director of Human Resources at DCV Fashions. My purpose today is to talk to you about our company. You can then decide if you'd like to work for us in the future. First, I'll give you some basic information about DCV Fashions. After that, I'll explain why we've been so successful in the fashion industry. Next, I'll tell you about our mission statement. This describes what we're all about, why we're in business. And finally, I'll explain how we communicate with people through our advertising and promotion. Okay, good. So here um, is the part D. Um, you're going to practice giving an introduction to your own company or a company that you know well. So, but you're going to write it down. And 
it's going to be probably at least one or two paragraphs. So you should spend some time on this. Think about a company that, that you would like to work for. Maybe also the function in that company, whether it be accounting, marketing, sales, HR, whatever. And then give some sort of introduction to describe the company, things about it. It could be about the mission statement, what industry they're in, uh, how they're doing in that industry, who's their competition. Uh, it could be anything that you want to do, or um, but just try to make it informative and then go ahead and uh, just write down maybe about a paragraph, maximum two paragraphs. So here we're moving on to part E. Listen to the rest of the presentation and complete the information below. If necessary, listen again. And that's part E, which is here. Oh, that's actually it. And that's part E. Unit 2. Companies. Track 23. Okay, some basic facts. We were founded in Florence in 1990. That's where we're currently based. Since then, we've expanded at a very fast rate and established our brand worldwide. We make and sell clothing and fashion accessories for the 18 to 30 age group. Please take a look at the chart. It shows our financial performance over a five year period. As you can see, last year our turnover was over 300 million euros and our net profit approximately 28 million. What's the key to our success? Well, I'd say there are three reasons we've grown so rapidly. We have a very talented team of young designers. Our distribution system is first class and we're very creative when advertising and promoting our products. Moving on now to our mission. It's to be a dynamic company, constantly changing, but always leading fashion. Fun, youth, action, energy. This is what our brand is all about. Finally, a word about our advertising and promotion. DCV advertises on all the Italian TV networks, as well as those in other major European markets. It sponsors fashion shows and its products are endorsed by many celebrities in the world of music and sport. Well, I hope you'll be interested to learn more about our company. Thanks very much for listening to my presentation. Are there any questions? Now you're going to do part F, a uh, number of these phrases which introduce different sections of the presentation in the order in which they appear. Moving on now to our mission, finally a word about, thanks very much for listening. Okay, some basic facts. What's the keys to our success? So let's listen to the tape script again. Unit two, companies, track 23. Okay, some basic facts. We were founded in Florence in 1990. That's where we're currently based. Since then, we've expanded at a very fast rate and established our brand worldwide. We make and sell clothing and fashion accessories for the 18 to 30 age group. Please take a look at the chart. It shows our financial performance over a five year period. As you can see, last year our turnover was over 300 million euros and our net profit approximately 28 million. What's the key to our success? Well, I'd say there are three reasons we've grown so rapidly. We have a very talented team of young designers. Our distribution system is first class and we're very creative when advertising and promoting our products. Moving on now to our mission. It's to be a dynamic company, constantly changing, but always leading fashion. Fun, youth, action, energy. This is what our brand is all about. Finally, a word about our advertising and promotion. DCV advertises on all the Italian TV networks, as well as those in other major European markets. It sponsors fashion shows, and its products are endorsed by many celebrities in the world of music and sport. Well, I hope you'll be interested to learn more about our company. Thanks very much for listening to my presentation. Are there any questions?
Okay, so you should have numbered one for like the first uh, statement that was said and then down to one, two, three, four, the fifth statement. Uh, the last part here, uh, G, um, choose one of these topics to write a short paragraph. Think about your company or a company you know well. Study the useful language box below and use the headings in the chart in exercise E to help you prepare a one paragraph presentation about it. So yes, so those, let's see, exercise E. So using the information that you have here, plus on the book, there's the useful language part. So go ahead and answer that there. And then use the facts provided on page 133 to make presentation about Moda International Fashion Group. Um, MIFG, Moda International Fashion Group. And then you can make a short um, presentation here, another one short paragraph. And then the next part uh, for March 27th will be uh, addressing the case study. So that this is all for right now. Uh, please remember that this homework assignment will be due April 2nd. Um, and uh, you'll be able to upload it through the through the Blackboard. Uh, and then when we have our first in-class um, lecture, then I think that's a time where you can actually print them out and turn them in. So you're, you're turning them online to make sure that you've done them on time, uh, but we'll, I'll still want a hard copy of, of the, the homework assignments. Okay, thank you very much students. I'll see you tomorrow online.